This video is produced with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. Welcome to a Crash Course from Nels. This series is designed to give you the tools you need to produce accessible ebooks, making them even more enjoyable for all readers. My name is Danny. I'm an accessibility tester with the National Network for Equitable Library Service. I was born blind, so I usually read books uh, audibly or in braille. My name is Caden Ferris. I don't have a sight impairment, uh, so I can read print just fine. It's just reading print and understanding print are two very different things. <laughs> Page numbers in an ebook can be a really valuable tool for coordinating what you're reading with what someone else is reading. So it's really easy to reference page numbers in an electronic publication, and it can be done in a way that makes it really easy for non traditional readers to determine what page this text appeared on the companion print book. Page numbers are meaningless in an ebook if they don't correlate with the printed edition. If you tell me that the information that I need is on page 59, I go to page 59 and it's a picture of a kitten, I'm not going to be very happy with you. So reflowable content has no bearing on page numbers whatsoever. A book that was 300 pages in print could easily be 6 or 900 pages in electronic format if the text has been enlarged and the margins have been customized. Page numbers have a bearing on the real world if they are referenced in an ebook to correlate with the page numbers in a printed book. We run into this in a book club, for instance. If everyone is reading a printed book, except one person is reading the same text in an ebook, they need to know where everyone is starting reading. And the easiest way to coordinate that reading is with a page number. But if the page numbers aren't set up in the ebook to correspond to those in a printed book, there isn't much point in including them. A structured page list is similar to a navigation file. It exposes a list of page numbers to your e-reader, so it in turn can offer page navigation to the person reading the book. It's a structured, unified way of ensuring a reader can navigate a book by page in the same way throughout all the books in their library. In addition to a structured page list, publishers need to mark the beginning of each new page so that readers can be taken directly to that point in the content. When marking these page numbers, we can use ARIA roles so that their purpose is exposed to assistive technology. That is a really cool option because if you're reading a reference book and you're coming up with multiple citations of where you're finding different points in the text, the page number becomes critically important to that research. When coded correctly, assistive technology can be set up to announce when the narrative moves to a new page. And that's where ARIA roles come in again. So ARIA roles allow you to tag each page marker in the text, not only with the fact that it's a page marker, but the page number that it represents. Having the ability to turn on the announcement of page numbers when you're preparing a research project and to turn off the announcement of page numbers when you're just doing some light reading is really important. It makes research much easier and it makes the reading experience much cleaner when you don't want them. So uh, it, it is important on both sides. So if you're reading a fiction book and you're right in the middle of a really exciting part and the speech synthesizer is saying, suddenly the boat crashed over a 55 wave. Well, 55 is completely meaningless. And, and as the narrative is continuing, because synthesizers are famous for just barreling on after they said something pointless, you're thinking, was it a 55 foot wave or was it a 55 degree wave? And then two or three sentences later, you realize, oh, that was just the page number. Never mind, it was pointless. But it, it's so disruptive to the main narrative. Now, conversely, if you're researching something and you come to a really interesting part, you're navigating back through the book to determine what page this is on. And if assistive technology can automatically announce right away once you get to the top of that page, or if you can press a key to find out what page this appears on, your job becomes so much easier because right away you've got the quote, you've got the page number, and you're off to the races.